Black tea. Now here we go. Everything that you need to know about black tea. Ever wondered where it comes from? Ever wonder how it's produced? Ever wondered how it makes its journey from, uh, from leaf to your cup? Well, I'm going to give you some of the information you need to answer those questions. Now first of all, tea grows on a bandwidth around the planet between the two tropics. And a lot of our black tea that we drink here in the United Kingdom comes from either Africa, India, Sri Lanka or China. And it's produced in a series of different ways that gives it slightly different textures from white teas and green teas that we're probably familiar with. Now, black tea comes in two formats. There is a um, twisted leaf and a kind of broken leaf or a CTC tea. Now, a twisted leaf has been produced between two flat rollers and it takes a, uh, a, a young leaf from a tree and makes it into a twist. And a CTC tea is a tea that's been milled or ground through a series of rollers that produces a tea fine enough for use in the tea bag, or if it's a little more coarse, then it can be used also with a loose, uh, as a loose tea. That's a, a kind of granular tea. So we've got a wholly orthodox twisted tea, a granular loose tea, then a fine milled uh, black tea used in the tea bag. Um, I think importantly with black tea, really good to use nice hot water from your kettle and of course Twinings produce uh, many different types of black tea, Earl Grey, English breakfast, all from uh, ethically sourced locations from around the world. Now what makes black tea unique and different to that of a white tea or a green tea is that it's been allowed to oxidise. Think of a apple when you cut it in half, the flesh turned brown, or, or a banana when you peel it, it starts to turn black. Exactly the same principle applies to the leaves from a tea bush. Now what happens, those leaves are picked, they're allowed to wither, so they go through a couple of hours of, uh, of softening in a warm uh, environment like uh, leaves would be after they've been in a compost uh, bin, they're going all kind of squidgy. And then those um, leaves are then either rolled or ground into this uh, tea. Then they're allowed to sit in a warm environment for, uh, for hours and hours to oxidise. And of course they eventually, that oxidisation period allows the tea to turn black. And then it's finally fired or heated to reduce all the moisture from the leaf that's remaining, then it's good for packing. So I've got our two black teas here. I've got, uh, we're gonna make a tea bag, and of course we're gonna make a uh, teapot. And of course, <clears throat> with our teapot, it's always good to preheat it with a little uh, dash of hot water. Because as we know, tea needs a consistent temperature to brew really, really well. So there we go, nice hot pot there. Now I'm gonna use a good, three, four teaspoons. So this is a three person pot. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and one for good luck for the pot, four. Then I'm gonna use my water. This has literally just come off the boil. Beautiful. And uh, nice ruby red color coming there from that, uh, from that tea pop this lid on and of course we're going to make our, our tea bag. Now black tea because of the ch chemical changes has a what we call a stronger mouth feel. It's slightly um, we, we say things like thicker, it's fuller, it's got a really malty taste in the mouth so it works really really well with milk. And for those of you who like sugar, black tea is great for sugar. But I think the most important thing that anyone can do with black tea is to make sure you brew it long enough. Three minutes is a, a good brewing time for black tea. And three minutes, of course, we know is a minute for the, the colour, a minute for the flavour, and then a minute for the goodness or nutrients to come out of the leaf. Add three, three and a half minutes for our tea to infuse, and now we're going to have a taste. So we've got a teapot tea here, nice loose tea. Of 
course, milk first, milk second, your choice. But black tea, always a great one first thing in the morning, fine. Really peps you up and wakes you up ready for the day. So taste of this. Be oh, beautiful. Loose tea gives a, a nice, fuller, deeper uh, flavour. And of course the tea bag that we're familiar with is great for convenience and uh, with the tea being slightly smaller in size it yields more quickly in the cup so again three, three and a half minutes but if you're not that way inclined and you like to give it slightly less, you like a weaker brew then the choice is yours. Black tea. That's what we're uh, famous for here in the UK and I tell you what, if you, if you do it properly it's a great cup of tea.